So let's come back to our homework example where we request the final exam score of a student on the number of his submitted homework problem sets. And now we explicitly state that beta 1 shall measure the causal effect of one more soft term homework on, the, on a student's exam score. Now is it reasonable that the OLS estimator of this short regression consistently estimates this causal effect beta 1? No. There are most likely confounders like ability or diligence of a student. Let us illustrate with a short graph which I have drawn here. So um, a more diligent student probably submits more homework so we have a positive correlation but he also probably even for a fixed number of submitted homeworks will learn more for the exam and uh, get a better exam score. So uh, diligence and in the same way ability probably influences both the number of submitted homework and the exam score. And if we don't add this in our short regression and it's hard to add because we don't have a measure for diligence or ability, um, basically our estimate of the beta 1 will also estimate this indirect positive relationship so it will be systematically larger than the true causal effect of submitting an additional homework problem set on the exam score. So our graph suggests that there is a positive bias in our OLS estimator. Equivalently, we could think about this using the idea of endogeneity and thinking about the correlation between our um, explanatory var variable, the number of submitted homeworks, and the error term in the short regression. So if we write the regression here, then the error term positively depends on ability and diligence, but that also affects positively the homework, so both the homework and the error term will have a positive correlation. Um, and we see then from the bias formula that if this correlation between homework and the error term is positive, we will also have a positive bias. So both ways to think about it are very similar here and lead to the same conclusions that we will most likely have a bias in our OLS estimator.